The following is a live presentation of Retro Sports Network, home of the champions of the past, present, and or future. Hi there. Let me get in the camera. My name is Ron Juckett. Welcome to the program for this last day of May, 20 the 22th. And we've got a battle of playoff hopefuls on the docket for you today. The Kansas City Royals, who have a lead over the California Angels, and the New York Yankees, who are four back of the Boston Red Sox, who still hold first place in the American League East. These are the games of Wednesday, July 24th, 1985. So we're right down to it about seven, eight, nine weeks to go in the season. This is game 92 for the Yankees and 93 for the Royals. The Yanks, well, again, they've cut the gap to four. The Red Sox and the Blue Jays going back and forth. I still think Toronto wins it in the end. The Royals, two and a half over California. They're going to go with Charlie Liebrand. The Yankees are going to go with Joe Cowley. It's live. It's yours now. As Retro Sports Network presents... Major League Replay 1985 tonight from Independence, Missouri. It is the Kansas City Royals and the New York Yankees. And today's game is brought to you by DigitalDevice.com, the best darn podcast on the web for your sports simulation and replay needs. Find our new website at DigitalDevice.com and find the podcast on Spreaker, Spotify, iTunes, or wherever else. Find podcasts. Our list. And so that's that for that. So a rainy night here in Kansas City. 86 degrees, winds blowing out to right at 10. In fact, it's rained so hard it's turned the, the AstroTurf into grass. See how many of you notice this is not the 1985 field. Always, I think, one of the better modern course it's going to be 50 next year ballparks in major league baseball one of the few i could tolerate has an astroturf field and this is was all done up for their all-star game appearance a few years ago like 10 so anyway charlie liebrandt gets the call charlie 29 years old he's making his 20th start of the year a fastball pitcher at 86 and a ground ball pitcher making his third start against the Yankees and the Yankees have had his lunch in two previous starts 15 and two thirds 15 hits 10 runs all earned he's walked nine and struck out seven his last time out came against the Orioles on the 19th a 2-1 loss to Baltimore seven innings 133 pitches nine hits Two runs, both 30, walked three, and struck out three. He has two shutouts this year, a four-hitter against the White Sox and a five-hitter against the Brewers. Overall, 141 and a third innings, 141 hits, 65 runs, 58 of those earned, nine homers. He has walked 46 and struck out 80. Overall, 11 and 8 on the replay with an earned run average of 369. We've packed some extra Lone Star for Steeler fan 1933 because when we show the standings in the middle of the fourth inning, he's going to want a six. Big Dave, how are you? All is well here. A cool afternoon in Burlington, 68 degrees. As we said, 86 for the game and a light rain. Yankees line up like this. Ricky Henderson leads off in center field. Willie Randolph back in the lineup. He'll bat second and play second. Don Mattingly at first will hit third. Dave Winfield cleans up in right. Don Baylor, the DH, will bat fifth. Billy Sample in left will go sixth. Andre Robertson is at third. He'll go seventh. Ron Hassey behind the plate. Bobby, how are you? Been a while, buddy. Ron Hassey behind the plate going eighth, and Bobby Meacham at short will bat ninth. Defensively for the Royals, Mr. Org is a five and a three in left. 
Willie Wilson, an eight and eight in center. Daryl Motley is a three and a four in right. George Brett, a seven at third. Buddy Biancalana here. You go call Dave Fletterman. He's an eight at short. Frank White, an eight in second. Steve Balboni, a five at first. Jim Sundberg behind the plate is an eight and a nine. And Liebrandt as a fielder, a good one, a seven with a 986 fielding percentage. Ricky Henderson digs in on his rainy night. 310, 16 homers, 46 RBI, and 46 stolen bases. And we start this week with a ground ball right side, a base hit. Motley will pick it up, and Henderson leads off with a single. Ah, you just got a new laptop last week to replace the last one that went belly up. Now, I know you do a lot of card and dice replays. Were you able to at least save the stuff you have on the computer? Henderson, surprisingly, not a threat to steal. Willie Randolph at 279, three homers and 24 RBI. Yanks in third behind the Red Sox and the Blue Jays. Royals two and a half up on the Angels. High of 90. Oh, big whereabouts are you in Western New York, Big Dave? Well, glad you could pick us up again, Bobby. Pitch to Randolph. Willie swings a slow chopper to Balboni. He'll hand it to Liebrandt. Charlie on the bag. Henderson moves to second. One out. For Mattingly, Dawn at 321. 14 homers and 70 RBI. Liebrandt deals. Mattingly... On the turf to Bianca Lana. Snap throw to first. Don is running and he is out. On the bang banger, Ricky goes to third. Two out for Winfield. 263, 14 homers and 62 RBI. Oh, okay. I want, but you keep your score sheets as a hard copy backup. Oh, good. Okay, so hopefully you didn't lose too much. Big Dave's in Rochester. My dad was from Fredonia. 92 in Houston with 60% humidity. Well, what was the old Willard Scott saying? And so that's that's the that's a phone ringing for me. And hold on one second. Anyway, uh, as Winfield steps in. Um, now, here's a look at your world this morning. That that was the line from Willard. Pitch to Winfield. High fly ball to right. Motley will make the catch. And that will retire the side. No runs, one hit, no errors. Yankees leave a runner on. Bottom one, no score. That is the world's smallest picture of Joe Cowley. I've, oh, apparently it's all small pictures. Okay. Cowley, he threw a no-hitter for the Yankees. Or was it the White Sox where he walked seven? Anyway, 27 years old. Fly ball plus pitcher, fastball pitcher at 92. Making his 13th start of the year. Six and five with an earn run average of 473. Hasn't faced the Royals yet. Last pitched on the 19th against the Twins. A 5-4 win. He gets the win. Five innings, 109 pitches. Four hits, three runs all earned. He walked four and struck out seven. 78 innings, 53 hits, 43 runs, 41 earned, 11 homers, but he's walked 51 while striking out 53. And as we said, 6 and 5 with a 473 earned run average. Let's see if we can make these. Uh... 
picture's bigger. I'm on. Here we go. Uh, nope, that didn't help at all. Anyway, here's a lineup that Collie will face. Willie Wilson leads off in center field. Oregon left will bat second. George Brett at third. He'll bat third. Al McRae cleans up. Daryl Motley in right will bat fifth. Frank White at second goes sixth. Steve Balboni at first will bat seventh. Jim Sundberg behind the plate goes eighth. And Bianca Lana at short will bat ninth. Ninth. <laughs> Charlie Lee ran through 19 pitches in his half of uh, the first. 64 with a little bit of cleavage sweat here for Pickle Rick Boy. Now, what am I doing wrong here? Why? Okay, so we got this one right. Full file, picture batter, stat size large, in the corner. Does that change? Oh, wow. How you doing, midlife crisis? Well, we made the pictures a little bit bigger. Yankees line up defensively like this. Billy Sample is 7 and 2 and left. Ricky Henderson, how you doing? Tape saturator, nice to have you along. Ricky Henderson is 7 in center. Winfield, an 8 and 8 and right. Midlife crisis pulling teeth to re verify your Twitch account. Ugh. Every couple weeks I gotta do that and it makes me do it just as I'm trying to sign on. Always fun. Andre Robinson is a 3 at third. Bobby Meacham a 5 at short. Willie Randolph a 7 at second. Don Mattingly a 7 at first. Ron Hassey an 8 and a 3 behind the plate. Cowley a 7 on the mound. With a 903 fielding percentage. Wilson at 248, three homers and 26 RBI. Tape saturator, by the way, is one of our new followers. Wilson swings, and there's a base hit in the right. Winfield, that's going to hit the wall. Lily with his speed has two at least. Will he will make the turn for third? The throw from Winfield to Robertson is close. And they actually, it's a double. So Wilson's on third, and Winfield somehow on the wet turf dropped it. So they're going to give Wilson a double and reaches third on the air. Oh, that's interesting. Here's Dane Org. Dane at 211, one homer, and three RBI. Again, the pitcher thing is bugging me. But that's as large as it's going to go. I'm sure tomorrow it'll look three times too big and we'll have to shrink it. So, Org is ready. Cowley's pitch. Base hit right field. Winfield picks it up. Org's digging for two. The throw to Meacham. Not in time. That's his third double. And the Royals pull out to a 1-0 lead. Ah, you bought Action PC Baseball about a week ago. Loving it so far. Always good sales. What's your favorite season and favorite team? Brett at 332. Yeah, all the Action PC games are great. 332, 20 homers for George. And 51 RBI. So the Royals... Get out to a one nothing lead here in the first. Nobody out. Brett pops one up. Hassey takes off the mask. In the foul territory, one out. Brings up Hal McRae. Hal. I did that on the ball in the ballpark layout. Thank you. 
brought the premium package. So far, you played 20, uh, 71 and 21. Cool. We'll get this right at some point. There. It only took an inning to do so. Now, Ward looks like he's got swollen head syndrome. All right. Well, hope you enjoy it. McRae, 302, 11 homers and 23 RBI. One out. Bottom of the first. Cali deals. McRae draws the walk. So first and second. And one out for Motley. Daryl at 228. Eight homers and 25 RBI. Full count curveball. Missed high and inside. So Cowley in trouble here in the first. There's a base hit into left field. Sample will pick it up. Org will round third. Hauser's going to send him home. Sample does not have a great arm. McCray will hold at second. The throw to Hasse is thrown away. Got away from Hasse and everybody moves up 90. And with one out. It's 2-0 Kansas City. So that's Sample's third error of the year. Here's White, Frank at 262, 14 homers, 58 RBI. Team saturated pretty new to baseball in general. Mostly had the playing the golf game so far. Lots to do with that too. So Cowley delivers. Here's a long drive to left, and it's 5-0 Royals. We'll be scraping the Yankee fans off the windshield now. My goodness. So White smashes his 15th of the year. And Kansas City has a five spot on the board. That was just hammered in the left center. So McCray, Motley, and White all score. And they are loving this wherever the Red Sox are. 5 nothing. now. Here's Balboni. Steve at 2.54. 20 homers and 62 RBI. So base is empty, but it's all come undone for Cowley, who at the moment is on the hook for all five earned runs. He struck him out. He swung on and missed the change. Two out for Sunberg. Jim at 223, nine homers, and 33 RBI. Callie winds and deals. Sunberg lines out one to third. Robertson is there, and that will retire the side. But a long, loud inning for Kansas City. Five runs, four hits, including the three-run homer by Frank White. The Yankees add insult to injury by getting two errors. We played one it's 5 nothing KC. So Baylor, Sample, and Robertson to face Liebrandt. Baylor at 234, 12 homers and 35 RBI. He sends that one up the middle for a base hit. So Baylor with a single. Second Yankee hit. Here's Billy Sample. Bill at 273, no homers. And three RBI. Bench player for Billy Martin. Sample hits a ground ball to first. Balboni comes in, takes it to the bag himself. Baylor moves to second, one out. Brings up Andre Robertson. He was the hot prospect for the Yankees in the mid 80s. 393 and four RBI. Baylor on second. Robertson, that's in the left. Org retreats, makes the catch. Baylor moves to third. Two out for Ron Hassey. Ron at 271. Seven homers and 27 RBI. So tape straighter. 
a golf fan. Who's your favorite golfer? As he swings, a ground ball to second. White flips it over to first, and that will retire the side. The Yankees get a hit, leave him on. After an inning, inning and a half, it's 5 nothing Kansas City. So Buddy Biancolano, Willie Wilson, and Mr. Org to face Cali here in the second. Buddy at 218, no homers, and two RBI. One of those all-glove, no-hit shortstops that were dominated, dominated baseball for a long time. Pitch to Buddy. Here's a slow roller to his counterpart, Meacham. Bobby throws to first, one out. So the opening nine for Cowley is ugly. 40 pitches, inning in a third, four hits, the three-run homer by White. He has walked one and struck out Steve Balboni. So all five Royal runs are earned. Wilson doubled to start the ball game for Kansas City. Cowley winds and fires in the left center. Ricky comes in. Henderson is there. Two out for Dane Org. Dane doubled home Wilson in the first. So a better inning for Cowley. Until Org drew the walk. Broadcaster's jinx. Ball four was way up high and inside. Here's Brett. George is 0 for 1. Two out, bottom of the second, 5 nothing Kansas City. Kansas City in first in the west, the Yankees in third in the east. And Brett draws the walk. Brings up McCray. Hal Watt in scored in the first. Roy McElroy, okay, he's been underperforming the last few years, hoping to get him some more majors. You know, the funny thing about Rory is he's been around forever. I mean, I remember seeing him as a kid. He's only 31. Pitch to McCray. Hal swings into left center. Henderson rides the swing. Ricky's there. And that is the inning. Royals, no runs, no hits. The walks don't hurt, no errors. They leave on two after two. Five, nothing, Kansas City. So Meacham, Henderson, and Randolph as the Yankees start the third. Bobby at 194, a homer, and 18 RBI. Lee Brandt starts the third with a fly ball to right. Motley makes the catch. The thing with McElroy, he had such a great last round at Augusta this year. Hard to believe that's he needs that for the career grand slam. And then was on fire the first day at the PGA. He's a guy that can string together 60 to 64 good holes. However, regulation major championship golf is a 72-hole tournament. Here's Ricky Henderson. Ricky single to start the ball game. Lee Brandt, two and a third on 32 pitches for his opening nine. Two hits, and that's it. And he's sitting on a five-run lead here with one out in the top of the third. Base hit right field. That's going to go all the way in the corner. Ricky with speed to burn. That's three. He might be trying for home. Motley throws it back in to throw to the plate. And Ricky Henderson has an inside the park home run. In today's edition of Speed Kills, that just kind of shot around the corner like a pinball. Motley wasn't quite sure how to play it. It's Henderson's 17th home run of the year. So you can see Motley, it just kind of took a funny hop out of him. And with Henderson's speed, you knew he had three. And then with Motley... By the time he picked it up, Henderson just didn't stop. White has a good arm. And Henderson slid under the tag of Sunberg. 
and that's his 17th of the year. So a rare inside the park home run. Cleveland Spider fans applaud. So Willie Randolph, by the way, is 0 for 1. Yep, he did great. Worry did great at Augusta, and that shot out of 18 from the bunker. I was watching that one live. That was awesome, wasn't it? So Ricky gets the Yankees on the board, and now it's five to one. Pinch to Randolph, and that is in the right field. Motley does his best to cut that one off, and Willie is held up to a single. So the Yankees have four hits. It is Mattingly. Dawn is 0 for 1. I'm sure we've had inside the park home runs. But don't ask me when the last one was. Pitch to Dawn is in the right. Motley, a busy little beaver out there. Daryl makes the catch for the out. Two out for Winfield. Dave is 0 for 1. For Lee Brandt, that's the 10th home run he's allowed this year. Two out. Winfield chops one to Balboni. Steve takes it to the bag himself, and that will retire the side. Yankees, however, get an inside the park home run from Ricky Henderson. One run, two hits, and no errors. Bottom of the third, 5-1, Kansas City. So Daryl Motley is at the plate. Daryl singled and scored. Drove in a run in the first. He scored on a white home run. Cowley starts the third. Pop up, right side, Randolph. One out. For Frank White. We've talked a little bit in the past about how the Royals were a top ten on the weakest World Series winners. There's a couple things that the Royals did really well. One of them was hit for power, which is not something you'd ever associate with Kansas City, especially in this ballpark. White smashes 15th in the first, and now has 61 RBI. Cowley's pitch, ball four. So the fourth walk from Cowley, who looks like he could be more f familiar with 1949 baseball, Here's Balboni, the lone strikeout victim for Cowley. He's 0 for 1. In the center, Henderson moves over. Ricky has it timed and makes the catch. And White will retreat back to first. Two out for Sunberg. Jim is 0 for 1. Sunberg sends this one high and deep to left, and Sample is going to run out of ballpark. That ball is gone. That's a fountain shot for Jim Sunberg, and it's now 7-1 to one, Kansas City. His 10th of the year. We talk about the Royals' power, and whoop, there it is. Whoop, there it is. There wasn't anything Sample could do about that. And so the Royals now have a six-run lead. So two out for Bianca Lana. Buddy is 0 for 1. Callie is on the hook for all seven earned runs. Pitch to Buddy. Walked him. Computer, by the way, runs the visitors, so I can't. We'll see when they pull Cowley out of this one. Willie Wilson, by the way, one for two, single or, or double, run scored. Run. Neither neither am I, Big Dave. Run it up, Royals. Cowley is opening eighteen. Going to lead to sharing that Lone Star with Steeler fan in a few minutes. 88 pitches, two and two thirds innings, five hits, two home runs, White and Sunberg. 
He has walked five and struck out one. Pitch to Wilson. Fouled off the mask of Hassey. They ask Ron where he is. He says Cleveland, and Martin says close enough. One strike pitch coming from Cowley. Got him! So Wilson strikes out, but the Royals get two on the home run by Jim Sundberg. Two runs a hit and no errors. Time to make your request for the Pickle Rick girl after three, seven, one, Kansas City. So Baylor, Sample, and Robertson to face Liebrand. Who can pretty much pencil in his 12th win of the year right now. Baylor swings, hard ground ball to Brett. George across the way on a bang banger, one out. So here's Billy Sample, he's 0 for 1. Someone just may want to, to hold Steeler fans hand here in a moment. In the right, Motley will make the catch. Two out. For Andre Robertson. Andre's 0 for 1. Lee Brandt delivers. Chopper up the middle. White behind the bag over to Balboni. And that will retire the side. That's it for Joe Cowley. It's going to be Bob Shirley. You jest. Coming in to pitch for the Yankees. So before we pull out Dane Ord, let's take a look at the standings here. The National League West, the Dodgers have now opened up a nine and a half game lead over the Astros. The Dodgers have found a good time to win eight out of their last ten. The Astros at 500 just aren't going to cut it. And everyone else is waiting for their local listings to find out when football is on. In the National League East, Montreal, 11 and a half back. St. Louis, however, is still cruising right along. The Mets are now four under 500. 17 and 27 at home. At home. Kansas City, two and a half over the Angels. They've lost one in a row, but they've won six out of their last ten. Oakland, four and a half. Chicago, six. The Rangers are seven back. And in the East, maybe the big surprise of the year, the Boston Red Sox. Remember, in real life, they were a 500 club. They went 81 and 81. They are 55 and 38. A half game up on Toronto. Four up on the Yankees, five on the Tigers, and six on Baltimore. And that is the standings on this July 24th, 85. Bob Shirley is 4 and 1 with the 328 and run average, 31 years old, making his 23rd appearance. Ground ball plus pitcher and a fastball pitcher at 85. Pitched against the Royals at the stadium on July 10th. No decision in that outing. His last time out, oh, well, he's been has had almost 2 weeks full rest. A 5-3 loss to the Rangers on July 13th. Two in the third, 32 pitches, one hit and a strikeout. Overall, 71 in the third innings, 67 hits, 26 runs, all earned, three homers. He has walked 17 and struck out 43. He did, by the way, on June 10th, shut out the Blue Jays. 2 nothing. so that's his high water mark. Dane Org is not going to hit. So Lonnie Smith will come in. Lonnie at 263. Two homers and 19 RBI. Shirley starts his night with a ground ball up the box. Randolph throws it to first. One out. So we told you about Tape Saturator being one of our new followers. Maximo 1954 is our other new follower. We now have 229 here on Twitch. George Brett, 0 for 1 with a walk. 
And there's a slow ground ball to Mattingly over to Shirley, and that's an out. So two out. Thanks, Dave. Nine subs and 229 followers. Here's Hal McCray. Hal has walked, scored, and is 0 for 1. We're on YouTube, we're up over 1,230 subs. That's a lot of six inches. Midlife. Thanks for the new sub. Seven month streak. 16 months. Boy, doesn't seem like I've been doing that that long. That stadium is still there. Yeah, on I-70. Kansas City, the Royals are kicking the tires about a possible move downtown. McCray hits a ground ball past Randolph, and the Royals have their sixth hit. Steeler fan, I think, passed out. Daryl Motley is one for two. As a single, an RBI, and a run scored. Motley lines that one up the middle. Henderson will get it on a hop. And Hal will hold it second. So two out. Bob Shirley not pitching a heck of a lot better than Joe Cowley. White had that three-run shot in the first. He now has 15 on the year while driving in 61. And he has McCray and Motley on the bases with two out here in the fourth. White swings. There's a base hit. Pass a diving Meacham. McCray, who was not fleet of foot, will round third and try for home. Sample's just going to throw it in the infield. And it's 8-1 to one, Kansas City. So that brings up Balboni, who is 0 for 2 with a strikeout. They seem to be feasting on the Yankees today, don't they? And Big Dave 1174 is going, mm -hmm. yeah, that's right. Nom, 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 nom. So Motley and White with speed on the bases. Pitch to Balboni. Steve strikes out. So one run, three hits, and no errors. So we go to the fifth. It's 8-1, to one, Kansas City. So Lee Brandt will face Hassey, Meacham, and Henderson here in the fifth. Hassey's 0 for 1 on missing a left fielder. Come on, we're up seven runs. Can't we play with eight? Fine. Lonnie Smith is a four range out there with a five arm. So we start the fifth. The Royals lead eight to one. Hassey in the center. Wilson rides the swing. One out. 83 degrees. Winds blowing out to dead center at 12. And still a little light rain here in the Kansas City metro area. Meacham is 0 for 1. Lee Brandt winds and delivers. That's into right. Motley will make the catch. Makes a diving catch on the turf as a matter. Of, no, he actually, he and Willie Wilson were both calling for it, and they collided. And somewhere in Australia, a member of In Excess is watching that. As two worlds collide, yes. So Motley makes the catch. They're both okay. They exchange a not-so-friendly look. Two out for Ricky. Henderson is singled. Homered. It was a solo shot. He has 47 RBI, 17 homers, and has scored 87 times. The rare inside-the-park home run. Two out, top the fifth. Ricky swings. Ground ball to Buddy. Bianca Lana has got to hurry. Henderson can run, and Ricky Hayes out on a bang banger. And that will retire the side. No runs, no hits, no errors. Halfway home on a Tuesday afternoon, it's the Royals 8, the Yankees 1.
So Yankee fans, avert your eyes and think happy thoughts about the New York Rangers. 8-8-0 eight, eight for Kansas City, 1-4-2 and two for the Yankees. In the first, Kansas City sent 8 to the plate. Dane Org doubled home Willie Wilson to make it 1-0. Daryl Motley singled home Org to make it 2-0. And then Frank White, a three-run shot, is 15th of the year to make it 5-0. Yankees got one back in the third. Ricky Henderson, an inside-the-park home run to right field, his 17th shot of the year, to make it 5-1, to one, but the Royals responded with two in the bottom of the, of the third inning. Jim Sundberg, a two-run shot to make it 7-1, and then in the fourth, Frank White singled home Hal McRae to make it 8-1. So Joe Cowley lasted all of three innings for the Yankees. Five hits, seven runs all earned. The two homers, he walked five and struck out two. Bob Shirley on in relief. Charlie Liebrandt doing yeoman's work for the Royals. Five innings, four hits, and that solo shot to Ricky Henderson. Sunberg with the other homer for Kansas City. One for two. And he has now matched his real-life home run total. That was his tenth. Sunberg starts the inning with a base hit right center field. Winfield will cut it off. That's a ninth hit for Kansas City. Here's Bianca Lana, buddy. 0 for 1 with a walk. You're not going to sack bunt here up seven runs. Shirley's pitch popped up. Hassey goes to the screen, and that is out of play. So the count is 0-2 to Bianca Lana. Buddy up the middle, might be two. Randolph takes the bag a second for one, but there's no throw to first. So we got the fours, but never threw for Buddy. So one out on the four U. Here is Willie Wilson. Willie one for three, has doubled and scored and struck out. Shirley's pitch popped up. Randolph. That's a rainmaker. Willie Drodge dodges the drops to make the second out. Brings up Lonnie Smith. He pinch hit for Org when Bob Shirley came in the ball game for Joe Cowley. So Lonnie 0 for 1. Smith swings. That's extra bases. Winfield goes all the way to the wall. Bianca Lana will round third. I imagine he's going to score. He's going to score without a throw. Lonnie eases in the second with his ninth double since coming over from the Cardinals. So Smith in the second standing, and it's 9-1. to one. You don't get to see the Yankees taken behind the woodshed very often. But today appears to be one of those days. Here's Brett. George 0 for 2 with a walk. Shirley, ground ball to second. Randolph over to first, and that will retire the side. Another inning, another run, and two hits and no errors. We go to the sixth. It's 9-1 Kansas City. And the crowd's gotten awful sleepy. Here's Willie Randolph. He's one for two. Mattingly and Winfield the follow. Willie swings a ground ball to third. Brett across the way. One out. If I remember correctly, Midlife Crisis says, John says the 85 Royals beat up lefties. Yeah, they did. A lot of right-handed hitting in that lineup. More runs maybe to come. Yeah, this one's already, you know, in the Phyllis Diller category. Here's Mattingly. Don is 0 for 2. 
Lieberant came in with an earned run average that was a run higher than real life. It was 369 when the game started. So Charlie is due to pitch well. Pitch to Mattingly. There's a slow ground ball to White. Frank throws it over to first for the out. Two out for Winfield. Dave is 0 for 2. There's a base hit left side past Bianca Lana. So the fifth hit for the Yankees brings up Don Baylor. Don Baylor, the ultimate softball player. My dad played it, you know, it was, you know, a walk was just as good as a hit. Or in Baylor's case, hit, get hit. Hit or get hit. There you go. Yeah, Lee Brandt, the unsung hero of that staff, 237 and two-third real innings. Of course, Saberhagen won to Cy Young, and Danny Jackson, another good lefty pitcher, and Quisenberry, who threw a ton of innings. Baylor strikes out. Lee Brandt got him. No runs, no hits, or one hit and no errors. They leave a runner on. We go to the bottom of the sixth. It's 9-1, to one, Kansas City. How you doing, D. Scott Howard? McCray, one for two, has walked, scored twice, and single. 9-1 Royals in the bottom of the sixth. Shirley starts the inning. A line drive to short. Meacham, one out. Here's Daryl Motley. Daryl, two for three. Has single twice, driven in a run, and scored. Shirley's pitch into right. Winfield skates over, makes the catch. Two out. So here's Frank White. Frank hit that big three run homer in the first, has singled, and is now driven in four. He now has 62 on the year. He only drove in 69. This is game 93 for the Royals. There's another hit. So Frank White looking to be the digital dice player of the game. Two out, 11th hit for Kansas City. Here's Balboni on a night where the Royals are pretty much playing T-ball with the Yankees. Balboni is 0 for 3 with two strikeouts. Make it a third. He swung on and missed. And draws some boos. No runs, a hit, no errors. Royals leave on a runner. We go to the seventh, 9 1. So sample Robertson and Hassey. Bill is 0 for 2. Lee Brandt starts the seventh with a ground ball to Brett. George has to hurry. A howitzer throw to Balboni. And samples retired, one out. Brings up Andre Robertson, who's 0 for 2. Line drive to White. Two out. So how many of you watching out there have cut the cord to cable? Here's Ron Hasse. He's 0 for 2. As he gets on, that's a single. Wilson will cut it off. As he retreats back to first. Six hit for the Yankees, two outs here in the seventh. Here's Bobby Meacham. Bobby is 0 for 2. Liberant delivers. Meacham up the middle, over the mound. Bianca Lana has it, goes to first. Balboni is there, and Meacham is retired. Stretch time, 9-1, KC.
about the same midlife crisis. I went to YouTube TV, did my weekly trial. Loved it. Watched the PGA with it and watched some hockey playoffs. And, of course, we'll be watching some of the Celtics coming up. Here's Sundberg, by the way, two for three, a homer and two RBI. Jim has ten on the year now. So I canceled my cable today. And if I've done the math right on here, when you even when you add the full price of YouTube TV with the tax, I saved eighty dollars. Schumberg pops it up left side. Robertson, and that is out of play. So somebody from Kansas City, Kansas, made that catch. A ball and two strikes now. Shirley to Sunberg. There's a ground ball over the middle. Meacham throws to first for the out. The only downside to YouTube TV is that we don't get our local regional sports network. There's no, in New England, it's Nesson, which is the Red Sox channel. But I have a satellite radio, and I can listen to the Red Sox on the radio. Here's Buddy Bianca Lana. Buddy's 0 for 2, a walk and a run scored. And, you know, I, I think my wife and I aren't going to regret it. I get to watch what I watch. She gets to watch what she watches. And the picture quality, I think, is excellent. Buddy hits a ground ball to first. Mattingly underhands it to Shirley for the out. Although the poor woman at Comcast did all she could to keep me. It's like, nope. I was just very firm. It's internet only, so I'm still a customer. Willie Wilson is one for four, by the way. A double, a run scored, and a strikeout. 9-1 Kansas City. And Wilson gets hit. Yeah, because when you're losing 9-1, to one, the last thing you want to do is put a runner on. Miska Muska Mouseketeer. Here's Lonnie Smith. Lonnie one for two. A double and an RBI. And with Wilson getting hit, guess what he's going to do? The rules of baseball don't apply here. There goes Willie. The throw down to Randolph. And that's Wilson's 33rd stolen base of the year. Put a needle on the record. So a one-strike count and two out for Lonnie Smith, who was one for two, a double and an RBI. Yep, that was, yeah, we still get NBC Sports Boston and Hallmark for your wife, John. I mean, I can other find ways to, and if there's a big, important Red Sox game, I'll find a way to watch it, but... Very happy with it. Big Dave bought an antenna and get all the local channels left cable in 2017. If you're a football fan, the only games you'd be missing were the Amazon games, which can be, you need to stream anyway this year, and Monday Night Football. Because I don't think Rochester gets the locals from Buffalo, right? Yeah, you cut your bill in half. But, yes, I mean, we, we subscribe to a bunch of other streaming services. But still... We went from two. I was paying two seventy five for everything, and I cut it down to one twenty. So, Lonnie Smith, ground ball to third. Robertson across the way for the out, and that will retire the side. No runs, no hits, no errors. Lee Brandt, going to give him a chance to finish this one. We go to the eighth, nine one. But, yeah, I mean, they get you coming and going there. But if you watch the stuff, anyway, Lieberan is opening 27 on 90 pitches, seven innings, six hits, the home run to Ricky Henderson, who's at the plate, and a strikeout. Ricky, two for three, a single, and an inside the park home run. I did that video for the uh, replay for. The Indy 500 on Sunday. 
That's got a thousand views. That's almost like three weeks worth of this replay. Pitch to Ricky. There's a liner in the center field. That's a base hit. Seventh hit for the Yankees. Ricky has stolen 46, but he's really not going to go anywhere. Willie Randolph is one for three. Your daughters are both, John's daughters are both in California, so they can register our, for our account for three months. So every time they're home, they register. Oh, okay. Oh, no problem, Dave. No problem. That makes a lot of sense. Be nice if you could switch the, although the locals are nice to have. But yeah, that was fun. In my replay, Helio got his fifth. And Spider-Man climbed the wall. Henderson on first. Randolph chops this one up the middle. White with a great stop. No chance at Henderson. Throws to first and Willie's retired. So Ricky on second. One out for Mattingly. Don is 0 for 3. And of course a base hit with Ricky's speed will score him. And a rain delay. That was a wild finish. And so the rain's it's not Southern California. And so a half hour rain delay. We hope you enjoyed Al, Red Sox fan, visiting the Three Stooges on Rain Delay Theater. Lee Brandt wants to try to finish the inning. Surely, I think, is done. Mattingly is still 0 for 3. In the left center, Wilson will make the catch. Henderson goes back to second. Tags goes to third. The throw is cut off. Two out. Brings up Winfield. Dave one for three with a single. It'll be Brett McCray and Motley for the Royals in the bottom of the eighth off a new Yankee pitcher. And he struck out Winfield. So the Yankees, no runs, a hit, no errors. We go to the bottom of the eighth, 9-1 Kansas City. So Brett, 0 for 3 with a walk. The Yankees, I'm sure, will pinch hit for Shirley here. Or pit, find a new pitcher. Shirley stays in the game, and they'll pay for that. Brett slaps that one in the left field. The Royals now have 12 hits. Here's McCray. Hal, one for three. He has singled and walked. I don't know why the computer didn't sub for Shirley. Hassey goes out to visit and walks McCray. So someone want to wake up Billy? Yep, now Billy Martin's awake. Neil Allen coming in. Got a pitching change. This game is coming to you from Independence, Missouri. Neil Allen is over from the Cardinals. He was traded a week ago, making his second appearance in the American League. In fact, he pitched two nights ago against the Royals in a 5-1 loss. Inning in two-thirds, 28 pitches, a hit, a walk and a strikeout, so no ERA and no record. He's 27 years old, a fastball pitcher, 89, and a ground ball plus plus pitcher. Comes in with runners on first and second. Nobody out for Daryl Motley, who was two for four. He has singled twice, driven in a run, and scored. Ground ball to Randolph might be two. Willie goes to Meacham for one. Throw to Mattingly, and that worked. So 4 6 3, and two out for Frank White, who has had himself a ninth. He has singled twice and homered, and is now driven in four. Scored twice and walked once. 9 1 Royals. Brett on third. White draws the walk. So runners on the corners. For Steve Balboni. And the odds are in his favor, so we'll let him hit. He is 0 for 4 with 3 strikeouts. 
he strikes out again. That's the metaphysical equivalent of the Charlie Brown Halloween special when everyone else got candy and all Charlie Brown got was rocks. First and third. Yep, he struck out. Swing and a miss, strike three. No runs, one hit. Balboni left on half the state of Missouri on the bases. We go to the ninth, 9-1. Nine so Lee Brandt is talking to Dick Hauser about he wants to finish this. It'll be Baylor, Sample, and Robertson in the ninth. Baylor, one for three, has singled and struck out. Lee Brandt delivers, and he walks Baylor, and Hauser's out of the dugout. It's Joe Beckwith. Beckwith two and one with two saves. And an earn average of two and a half. He's 30 years old. Fastball pitcher at 92 and a standard pitcher. 34th appearance on the year. Faced the Yankees on July 9th. No record against New York. Pitched against Baltimore's last time out five days ago. Went in inning through 15 pitches and a 2-1 loss to the birdies. He walked one and struck out two. Overall, 50 and a third innings, 47 hits, 17 runs, 14 earned, five homers. He walked 17 and struck out 39. Yeah, we did the chat with ID yesterday, and ID going in for surgery tomorrow, and we certainly hope that he gets through that and is on the mend and we're rooting for a full remission and recovery for our friend and we can tell you that when he feels good enough to come on that dave and i will have him as a guest on digital dice so so billy sample is 0 for three with a strikeout beckworth trying to get the three outs in a kansas city blowout the rain, by the way, is stopped. Mike Pagliarulo will pinch it. <laughs> there is no recovery for Cardinals fandom. It's a chronic disease. And Cardinal fans would tell you about all the World Series that they've won. Pagliarulo at 235, 10 homers and 35 RBI. Of course, the, his Tampa Bay Lightning are on the verge of a third straight trip to the Stanley Cup, provided that they... Yeah, they didn't say all the Cardinals teams were, were good, but yeah, that 2011 winner was one of the ten worst on your list. Poor Nelson Cruz. Oh, anyway, pitch to Pags. Got him. So one out. Got him looking below the belt. Now, I have no trouble with the Tampa teams. Andre Robertson's 0 for 3. You got the Rangers who are such a... who are the bell of the ball this year. I think the better series is going to be Colorado and Edmonton. So Robertson 0 for 3. And ID, if you're watching this later on in the recovery room... Go Cards, and we'll talk to you soon. And Dan Pasqua will pinch it. Dan at 268, five homers, 11 RBI. As a pinch hitter, 375, a homer, and four RBI. Pasqua is Italian. And the only reason why I mentioned that, because his name in Italian is what the name Pasqua translates into what in English so Baylor on first one out 9-1 Royals Pasqua hits this one to first Balboni down the line makes the play goes to the bag and Pasqua is retired so two out for Baylor everyone's looking at Google Translate now Here's Ron Hassey, last chance saloon for the Yankees. He's one for three with a single. 
a one-sided affair here at Royal Stadium. Yeah, all the best for Jester, of course. Beckwith deals. Baylor goes. There's a line drive to White, and the Royals have spanked the Yankees. Behind the woodshed style, 9-1. Nine runs, 12 hits, no errors for Kansas City. Oops. Hold on a sec. It's the wifey. Hello, you're on the air. Okay. Okay. You can just drop off the boxes if you want to. Don't want the other box. That's fine. You can have it. It's up to you. Okay. No, it's if it's that late, you're just dropping them off. It's only five after one. You got time. All right. Love you. Bye bye. Yes, well, not directly, but yeah, Pasqua is Italian for Easter. Nine runs, 12 hits, no errors for Kansas City. They left on 10. Yankees a run on seven hits and two errors. And they left on seven. Charlie Lieberant gets the win. He's 12 and eight. Eight innings, seven hits. An earned run to halt inside the park home run to Ricky Henderson. He walked one and struck out two. He had minus stuff, too. Wow. Joe Beckwith goes the ninth. Joe Cowley, well, he was Christmas treed. Three innings, five hits, seven runs all earned. Two homers. He walked five and struck out two. Frank White, our DigitalDice.com player of the game. Three for three, his tenth homer, and drove in four. And so for the moment, Kansas City's lead on California is three. Now the rest of the Wednesday in baseball, full packed house of games here. The Reds beat the Mets six to four. Ron Robinson goes to five and three. Tom Gorman one and two. Bell three for four. Buddy with a second homer and two RBI. Milwaukee beats California six to one. So the lead now is three and a half for Kansas City. Teddy Higuera seven and seven. Ron Romanic nine and seven. Robin Yount, as it scroll, come on, scroll back. Two for four is 14th and three RBI. San Francisco beats St. Louis six to three. John Tudor takes a loss. Oh, my goodness. Jim Gott goes to six and nine. Tudor falls to 15 and three. Chili Davis, three for five with a double. Padres beat the Cubs five to three. Oh, by the way, San Francisco pounded out 17 hits in that game. Padres beat the Cubs 5-3 in 12. Mr. Gossage is 2-3. Warren Brewster 4-3. Jerry Royster is third of the year, 2-2 two for two and 2 RBI. Seattle beat Toronto 5-4. To Matt Young goes to 7-11. Oh, thank heaven. Jimmy Key is 8-6. Jeff Burrows for the Jays, 2-4, for four, a triple and a double. Boston beats Oakland 7 to 5 so the Red Sox lead us now a game and a half. Well, Cam Boyd 14 and 4, Don Sutton 9 and 8, Bruce Bochy 3 for 5 is fifth of the year. He drives in 3. Phillies beat the Astros 5 to 1. Kevin Gross 4 and 5, Nolan Ryan falls to 10 and 6. Go Phils. Uh, go Eagles maybe. Schmidt 2 for 4 is 25th of the year. Montreal beats Atlanta 6 to 3. The Expos now only ten and a half back. Woohoo! Bryn Smith falls or goes to seven and six. Steve Bedrosian, a season he'd like to forget. Four and twelve. Dan Dreesen, two for three, is seventh of the year. Drives in two. Detroit shut out by Chicago. Four nothing. Tom Seaver, nine and nine. Dan Petrie, twelve and eight. Harold Baines, the Hall of Famer, three for four with two doubles. By the way, Astros pitcher struck out the Phillies 15 times in that ballgame. Cleveland beat Texas 6-1. Burt Blylevin has his bags packed from Minnesota. 14-6. Burt Hooten 4-7. and 
Mike Hargrove, the human rain delay, two for four, two RBI, and two doubles. Baltimore beats Minnesota in 11, two to one. Dave, uh, Sammy Stewart, three and two. Euphema, one and three. Jim Dwyer, his ninth of the year. And last but not least, the Astros don't lose any ground. Pittsburgh beat the Dodgers five to three. Al Holland goes to two and six, and Bob Wells falls to three and two. Tony Pena, his second of the year, drives in two. So, tomorrow, a rainy day here in Burlington, we'll see. Oh, that, that might get changed. We might do a, um, what's supposed to be Baltimore and Chicago. We are not doing Baltimore and Chicago. We haven't done for Jester. We'll do an, we'll do the Cardinals, and then the Thursday game will be California and Toronto. So Cardinals dot uh, Cardinals Padres tomorrow. Angels, Blue Jays on Thursday. I'm Ron Juckett. Hey, thank you so much for watching. We'll talk to you tomorrow for Cardinal Baseball right here on Retro Sports Network. Have a good day, everybody.